I remember thinking to myself, well, I have no choice but to do this because if I can't do this, how can I expect my kids to succeed at this? And that's a lot of power. People are giving you like the tool that they they have discovered along the way. It's not even like something you can just go buy in the store. It's, it's what they've discovered. <laughs> Hey friends, Sarah here and Zavi. Welcome back to the Zebra Chai fam. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different as I'm going to be doing a bit of a reaction to Patricia's Brights. If I could tell you just one thing. Um, the nature of the show, it seems to be like um, her going around interviewing women, uh, especially women of success, women who've achieved success in life thus far despite their hardships and the obstacles they've had to overcome. And she asked them, um, she does a little chit chat with them and go around and talk and stuff and all that part is very interesting from what I've seen so far. And then towards the end of the conversations with them, she asked, if you could tell me just one thing, one thing that you've learned about life or one thing that's attributed to your success, what would you tell me? These women share that one thing that they have encountered that they felt like just kind of motivated to help keep them going. And yet... Okay. I really admire this series by Patricia because it is going to be empowering to a lot of women. I remember the first time when I decided I wanted to do YouTube. I was a stay-at-home mom just feeling like, man, I want to do something. And watching other people through YouTube People like, I think it was like Raven Elise, even though she's much younger than me, she was on YouTube already taking the plunge and I, it was just so inspirational finding people that were doing stuff. I mean, back then I didn't even know that they weren't really making that much money yet or anything like that, but just the fact that they were doing things that were empowering, empowering, I can't even speak properly, and just like inspiring to other women to show that you can, you're capable and why not try something. I remember one of the women in Patricia's interview, she said her one thing would be, um, if you didn't try, then you already failed. And the, that one just sat with me because a lot of people don't realize that you are your biggest excuse. Like if you keep making excuses, you will never get anywhere. And if you haven't even tried to get anywhere, how can you expect to succeed? So I, that one just like really, really hit home. I know for me, I really wanted to um, get an education for my kids. It's just one of those things that you don't even realize too with motherhood is that you become a mom and then you have this beautiful little baby, but you don't like, when you are a first time mom, you don't realize that that phase is just like the honeymoon phase. Like they're cute and they're beautiful and all that stuff. but. Life is so much more than them just being cute and beautiful. You really want the world for them. And I remember just even having my firstborn and just thinking, oh my gosh, like this precious little ones, their, their, their lives are in my hand. I really have to come through for this child. And I just remember having like starting to reflect and not, and just thinking about my dreams and aspirations and my desires from not my, my, just not, not. It was actually more for my kid at that, my child at that point, but then it also had me like having to go back to that place and think about it for my own self because I realized that some of the dreams I had for them, I have yet to achieve. And that was like the biggest eye-opening moment for me was realizing that, oh, wow, I need to start achieving some goals for myself. And I remember thinking just in the future, I want my child to get a good education and all that. And I was like, wait, wait a second, but I haven't even gone to get higher education yet. My husband has, but I haven't. And those were some of the moments that really propelled me into making better decisions for me. And just starting, it was a step towards making my dreams a reality because pursuing school is one thing when you're young and it can be challenging, but it's on, on a whole other level when you are a mom of 
little ones. I remember when I first um, decided to go back to school and I just kept doubting myself. I didn't know if I could do it, but seeing my husband do it was motivating. And before I actually set the goal and said that when he's done, I'll go back because I knew we both couldn't go at once. But when he was done, I remember taking that step to go <laughs> to, to start and I was just, I felt so scared, so nervous, not to mention a lot of money is at stake, borrowed money at that. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this. But I remember thinking to myself, well, I have no choice but to do this because if I can't do this, how can I have this? How can I expect my kids to succeed at this? And that's where this momentum kind of hit where things, I, I just felt like my journey of just this positive thinking and this, you can do anything you put your mind to attitude kind of just came about. And guys, when I tell you it is the one thing that kept me going, not only just my kids in the background, but your attitude. You have to fight the thoughts in your mind when you just, when you feel like you're about to give up or you feel like you can't do it any longer. Um, and when I tell you that, you know, it's, it's just a lot of positive energy, also inspiration from various um, women who have seen do it, whether it be seeing it on YouTube or seeing it in real life. Inspiration is so key and if we can do that and be that for one another, it's such a good feeling to know that we can do those kind of things and help each other out. Um, and also I think that, you know, the blessings will come back to you one way or the other, whether or not you're looking for it or not. I have been a long time viewer of Patricia and I have seen her come from just even the where she was just, uh, just you know, young and married to now being a mom. And though she doesn't show like a whole lot of content necessarily pertain to her her um, family and kids. And I know that she's a mom in the background, despite all the hustles and all the things that she's had to do here to prove herself in this space and to be at this stage where she's creating a whole show for herself. Y'all, can we get a can we give Patricia a hand? Can we give her a hand like? That is amazing. So amidst everything else I've said, I just want to say to Patricia, kudos to you, girl. You're doing the dang thing. Thank you for being an inspiration to us, especially those of us that are women of color. You know the struggle of even just trying to make it here on a platform, let alone going out there and making a name for ourselves and creating this lovely series that's not just going to impact our people, women of color, but will impact women all around the world because we are forever in need of motivation and inspiration. And you truly are that. I just wish you continued success in whatever you do because you just, you're amazing. I was very inspired. Not only did she have a bunch of women from different backgrounds and different like personality types, different, they all come from different workspaces and their journeys are all so different. Some like teen mom, some have just had to like work their way. They're all, I think they've, yeah, they're all moms from, from what I've seen so far. And they've all had to, had, they've all had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get to, to where they are now. I really felt the need to kind of do a little bit of a reaction, A, not to just put word on it and get it out there for her, but to just like be um, encouraging and supportive because like I said, it, I'm a big supporter of anything that is empowering and uplifting women. This is a big part of why I like to share things on my content. At first, like honestly, with my own personal channel, I was just sharing the lifestyle and the lifestyle, like, I was sharing like our family lifestyle and our family lifestyle surrounded interracial and when I started that interracial wasn't a, a thing and I wanted to show the positive aspects of interracial families and just how we live our lives, blend our, blend our life and family, you know, together. Then, you know, life's also changed a bit and there are more and more interracial couples everywhere now so that's not like the thing anymore. Um, and now I share just regular family content, but I'm still trying to share a lot of realness, but sometimes realness doesn't go hand in hand with YouTube because it's just too real. You know, I might share like the real mess in the background and then people are like, your house is too messy. You need to go clean your house. I'm not saying I get that comment on the daily or uh, like that anyways, but it's just comments and stuff like that. We all know like people, they say they like the realness of YouTube, but the realness doesn't get the views. The realness doesn't pay the bills, nor does the realness is it really favored? Everyone tends to love the glitz and the glands and they love when everything looks perfect and they love when everything's done for the camera. And that is not me. I'm not trying to change 
who I am for YouTube. I want to bring the I want to bring some of the naturalness, the rawness, the positive energy, motivating, inspirational energy that I can to YouTube. And I'm trying to incorporate more and more into who I am and what I do. And that's why I'm so quick to like support what Patricia does because it is kind of like what I'm trying to do in my everyday life and vlog and stuff like that. I want to do, I do want to incorporate more sit down videos where I can share aspects of this kind of stuff with you guys. Share, I'm very um, encouraged to want to share stuff about life, just marriage and kids and any type of questions surrounding motherhood and family but you guys have to ask those kind of questions if you ask them down below then i'll create content around it it's just hard to like the thing on youtube is it's really hard to know what to do to get the views sometimes i put out the realness content but it doesn't get the views and it just kind of is you know it's like a pitfall on my channel it doesn't um propel my channel in the right direction and other times I will post and then I'll post the vlogs and people might watch the vlogs like it's just it's so hard to fully gauge which direction to go but honest outside of just doing the day-to-day -day vlogs this is the side of me that I would love to share more with you guys I feel like I do have a lot of wisdom to share I have a lot of experience to share from a lot of different areas and I love to chat I've got the gift of gab and not to mention like this is why I took psychology this is why I got a whole degree in psychology I just love the study like people of their minds the way people think the way they communicate and all that stuff so this is like my element to a T but if you guys aren't for it then I don't know why you know I don't necessarily want to post it I've, I've also thought about creating a whole other channel for that but who wants to do that like I, I don't <laughs> Uh, let me know down below if you've checked out this new series that Patricia has started it is called like I said if I could only if I could tell you just one thing the concept is really really fire aka the youngins talk it's really really good because um, I think we could all take a little bit of wisdom from someone telling us just that one thing that they've learned throughout their whole life thus far that have led them to be where they are I think that's really really neat we, and when you start taking a little bit and a little bit and a little bit of just all that positive energy you have the you have so much um, power that's a lot of power people are giving you like the tool that they they have um discovered along the way it's not even like something you can just go buy in the store it's this is what they've discovered and you can just take you take the good you can just take little pieces of it all these tiny fragments and put it together and then you can come out with a whole gem y'all that gem is like your success it's like where you will be where you could be um you might be sitting down watching this today and at the end of the day this message is for you and letting you know that you too can do it i was a whole stay-at-home mom just feeling like there's a void i needed to do something for myself and here i am a whole degree four-year degree graduate actually um honing in on a few things in the background which i still have yet to talk about and just always not not letting my dreams fall short when i first started this out my dream it was in the background was just like oh i'm gonna be the best day at home mom I'm gonna clean and cook and take care of my kids and, and all that was all great but i knew that there was so much more for me you can get so lost in motherhood and i remember being a first time mom and i was super lost in motherhood until reality hit me i love my kids and i love life but I also being a woman of girls I always just felt like there's so much more to teach them because there's not as much as I love to stay at home with my kid now do it, my, my kids and I'll do it all over again and I would love to be a stay-at-home mom all over again I will never stop hustling in the background that is just me I love the opportunity that I get but I'm utilizing that opportunity to do something else that is bigger than even my vision at the current moment so I'm you know I'm excited to see where my future goes as for this channel I would love to see it blossom and become something else not become something else but grow bigger than what it is I want to see it flourish because your girl has a lot of motivation and wisdom and all these things that I want to teach and share and um, I'm just kind of waiting for it to do something but I'm never getting I'm not discouraged so I hope you guys um, enjoy this little chat just remember you can do it too if i can do it you can do it you just have to say it to yourself you have to think positive and don't be your biggest excuse you are better than that you are capable you are smart you're intelligent and just the concept of thinking that 
everyone who's succeeding and doing well out there are just born intelligent that's a lie you just have to work hecka hard to get to where you need to go thank you guys so much for watching check out patricia's show like honestly i'm gonna be sitting on my seat waiting for the next episode because I, there's nothing that I love more to see us women uplifting other women and not tearing each other down. So, um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I might actually do a recap of next episode. It, by the time next episode will come out, I might actually do another video on the next episode and just like recap. Recapping would be more in depth with the show as opposed to less casual talk. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you guys enjoy this. Until next time, guys. Um, if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the show as well as your thoughts on this. And until next time, guys, bye. Much love.